Hey, this is Allison, your Teen Services Librarian at River Center Branch Library. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cheesecloth ghost. If you picked up a kit from the River Center Branch Library, you should have instructions, a cup, a balloon, a square piece of wax paper, three pieces of cheesecloth, and one container of liquid starch. You will also need napkins. The first thing you're going to do is inflate the balloon and you can make this a little bit easier by stretching out the balloon first. Then tie a knot in the balloon. Next, place your balloon on top of the cup and on top of the wax paper. Then take your cup of liquid starch and remove the lid. You're going to take one piece of cheesecloth and soak it in the liquid starch. This is where it can get a little bit messy, so make sure to have your paper towels handy. After you get the cheesecloth fully soaked, you'll spread it back out and then drape it over the balloon. Now you're going to repeat that step with the other two pieces of cheesecloth. And you can drape them so that they cover different parts of the balloon and make your ghost the shape that you want it to be. If your cornstarch, I mean if your liquid starch is a little bit too thick, you can add in some water to um, make it easier to work with. It'll dry just the same.
And once you've got your ghost arranged how you want it to dry, you can leave it be and let it sit for about 24 hours and then you'll be ready to move on to the next step. All right, now that you've let it sit for 24 hours, it should be nice and dry. You can squeeze the cup and gently pull it from the underside of the ghost. And then do the same thing with the balloon. If you're having trouble getting the balloon out though, you can also take a pair of scissors and pop it. And there is your ghost. If you have a piece of string, you can hang it up somewhere and let it float, or you can just use it to decorate anywhere inside. Thanks for watching.